In our reviews, we've talked repeatedly about fifth-generation fighters, which are owned by only a few countries in the world. However, today the F-22, Su-57, and J-20 can no longer be called the latest achievements of aircraft engineering, as work on the next generations of machines is in full swing. And the primacy in this case, which by the way is not surprising, is occupied by America. To find out how far the U.S. has progressed in creating the perfect aircraft and what it'll be like in general, we'll find out right now. This is Military News. Let's go! And before we talk about a specific prototype, it's worth saying a couple of words about the characteristics of the aircraft as a whole should have the sixth generation. The first is the ability to fly at hypersonic speeds equal to 4 or 5 Mach which is, for a minute, about 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers an hour. This speedboat will certainly have a strong impact on pilots, which leads to the next requirement for development, namely the possibility of using artificial intelligence. This means that the novelty will be able to pilot both the pilot who's in the cockpit and the operator who's on the ground. Such technology can not only withstand high overloads, but also simplify the pilot's work. Among other things, the aircraft of the future should have improved stealth, extremely sensitive sensors, and even a directed energy weapon, i.e. laser. Several countries have already announced attempts to create such a machine, so in 2018 several European companies from Germany, France, Britain, Italy, Sweden announced the start of work on the Tempest, the prototype of which is planned to be released by 2035. In the future, it'll replace the Eurofighter Typhoon, a similar project exists in Russia, which became known back in 2016. Certain Generation 6 technologies such as airborne systems are already being tested on the Su-57 today. China also claims to keep up with the advanced powers and is building its model of the new aircraft. As for the US, after the creation of the F-22, they did not let their guard down. The Raptor was the first of its kind, which means that the samples presented by Russia and China objectively may be superior to the American. Fearing the loss of dominance in the sky, Washington also began to develop the next generation of aircraft. The first attempts to create a new winged vehicle began back in 2009. The project under development, reminiscent of the B-2, was called the FAXX and was intended for use by the Navy. In terms of technology and combat performance, it was supposed to surpass the existing FA-18EF. Major companies such as Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman were involved in this program, but later it was suspended and references to it ceased. And in 2017, there was information about the launch of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program, which began to create the FX intended for the U.S. Air Force. Washington announced the design and testing of the new model will be carried out using digital engineering, which will reduce the cost of the fighter by 10% over a 30-year life cycle. By the way, the same technologies are used in the creation of GVSD missiles and T-7A Red Hawk jet trainer. It's not known exactly what company worked on the creation of the aircraft yet. Under Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, Will Roper, said that the order will be submitted to at least two manufacturers. Whether they will be industry giants or new companies with unique technologies remains to be seen. As early as last fall, it was announced that the full-scale demonstrator was not just ready, but had its first flight test and even broke many records. According to U.S. Air Force General Mark Kelly, NGAD will consist not only of the aircraft itself, but also of drones, spacecraft, and cyber platforms. This project will supplement and eventually replace the F-22 Raptor. Remarkably, all of its development and assembly was accomplished in just one year. This contrasts sharply with the history of its predecessors. Such changes are related to the new NGAD Next Generation Air Dominance release strategy. If previously it took at least 10 to 15 years for a new generation model to enter serial production, as in the case of the F-35, now manufacturers will adhere to the Digital Century Series concept, through which the U.S. Air Force will review new aircraft with currently available technology within five years, and sometimes even less. Just as the F-100, F-106 fighter jet line was once created in a relatively short period. This tactic provides a military advantage, at the cost of keeping the enemy in constant suspense due to the lack of awareness of enemy forces. Imagine that every five years, mysterious aircraft appear, 
with improved characteristics that you essentially know nothing about. This solution also promotes competition between manufacturers, which stimulates the defense industry. Even less is known about the technical characteristics of the mysterious project. It's impossible to say whether the presented model is manned or unmanned, but it spoke a lot about the use of open architecture that allows you to create new modifications, which, for example, is impossible for the new American F-22. The weaponry of the aircraft is also covered by mystery, although even during the creation of the FAXX, there were rumors about the installation of laser weapons on board. However, in the summer of 2019, it turned out that this aircraft will not be armed with a pulse cannon capable of damaging other combat equipment, but only with a laser system of REB, which will blind the air-to-air -air missiles of the likely enemy. Naturally, there's nothing supernatural in this for today's technology. No less interesting is the information that the prototype intended for the Navy had a system of the remote introduction of computer viruses by which the defeat of the enemy air defenses was carried out not by striking weapons, but by disabling these means with the help of a virus. All these versions, of course, are very exciting, but so far remain unreliable. The Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, was launched to produce the appropriate engine. In 2021, General Electric XA100 and Pratt & Whitney XA101 were developed under this program. The combat radius range, according to preliminary data, is at least 1,000 miles. For comparison, the F-35C has a range of 700 miles. It's worth noting that according to the plan, the fighter will have to approach the so-called A2AD anti-access area denial areas, high threat zones in which NATO troops cannot penetrate without unacceptable damage to them, even with superior forces. By the way, there are only two such zones in the world, the PRC and Russia. There's talk about the number of produced NGAD units, the optimal number was called one squadron per year, or about 24 aircraft. Unfortunately, the price of the project is also classified. All that's known is the program is about a billion dollars a year, even though the acquisition strategy's not yet been completed. Of course, the specimen discussed by everyone has been criticized. Many aviation enthusiasts have expressed their doubts about the existence of the aircraft, as despite the statements of the broken records, the live prototype has not yet been seen. To summarize, we want to say that the sensational project is assigned the role of a revolutionary in military aircraft. But as for me, the NGAD, different from its predecessors in unmanned aircraft and hypersonic, is quite weak for a sixth generation aircraft. It's now more of an increase in the size and capability of existing UAVs, and it'll take a lot of effort and financial investment to make a full-scale flight demonstrator a full-fledged program. And although it's undeniably a new stage of progress, the craft is unlikely to go into mass production. The predecessors of the F-22 and Su-57 are examples of this. Well, I'm waiting for your opinion about the American aircraft of the sixth generation in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.